Coming up on today's episode of The Flare, we will be featuring our very own fiber teachers attempting the Whisper Challenge. A look into our school's counselors and what they do, your daily sports report, and much more. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Michael Gonzalez. And I'm Nicolas Castillo. Welcome back from the long weekend, Firebirds. Today is Tuesday, September 5th, and the flare starts now. Hey Nico, have you heard anything new about this hurricane? Last I heard, it disappeared. Oh, okay, that's good. Now I don't have to take my umbrella everywhere I go. But let's hear the official report by Nicole Rabath as she forecasts today's weather. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Nicole Rabath with the weather report. Luckily, today you won't need your umbrellas because there will be a 0% chance of rain. It's nice to have a break from all the gloomy weather. However, we'll be having winds from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Today's temperature will be ranging from a high of 90 to a low of 77. Additionally, humidity will be reaching 71%, making it feel like 82 to 97 degrees throughout the day. That's all for your weather report. I'm the Bath. Now back to your anchors. Wow, I can't wait for the sunny weather this week. By the way, Michael, have you heard about the PSAT and MSQT registrations opening up this weekend? No, I haven't. Yeah, it's a really good way to save money on college and get practice for the SAT. If students take the PSAT, they can qualify for the National Merit Scholarship. If students are interested in registering, please see Ms. Margolis in the cafeteria during lunch or in A building main office from 2.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Register from August 30th to September 7th. The test date will be on Monday, October 16th. Hey, Nico, have you ever played the Whisper Challenge? Michael, talk louder. Have you ever played the Whisper Challenge? Oh, did you just say so? I mean, I haven't played it, but I've heard it's a lot of fun. Well, here's Sanai Barreto testing our teacher's hearing with the Whisper Challenge. Hi, my name is Angeline. Hi, my name is Sammy. This is Ms. Ladron. This is Mr. Nguyen, and we are going to play the Whisper Challenge. The, 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 of the the so the the melting what you <laughs> say I couldn't say uh. melting point piece of more work <laughs> tin point molecule shampoo mel pal mel pal ting politic Freezing. <laughs> freezing. 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 Point. point. R. Of. R. R. The. The. Same. Same. The melt. The melting point. The freezing point. The same. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Human. Yo no lo entiendo. <laughs> the yeah. human cell has forty-six chromosomes. Yeah. Paper. Paper. Paper pressure. pressure. Is. Is, is pressure pressure exerted actually exerted so I cook actually cooking no exerted. it's no it's cooking <laughs> the Lord of heck I can't it's not <laughs> exerted I did good no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good you did. Okay, I wasn't born in this country <laughs> can you tell <laughs> The month of September begins, here are some announcements you don't want to miss. Green Club will be hosting an informational meeting this Thursday, September 7th at 2.45 for high school and for middle school at 3.35. The meeting will be held in the cafeteria. 
Durrell's Law Society will be having an informational meeting on September 6th in GYB3. The high school meeting starts at 2.30 and the middle school meeting starts at 3.30. Firebirds, September 8th is the deadline to apply for a Cameron Impact Scholarship. It is a four-year, full-year institution scholarship. Seniors, by September 6th through 8th, you must have turned in your service hours for it is to be reflected on your transfers. Hey, Nico, have you ever wanted your parents to meet your teachers? Oh my gosh, yeah. Every time I mention my teacher's name, my parents go, who's that? <laughs> well, this Saturday, September 9th, will be our school's open house. Middle school will be from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. High school will be from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. This is a great way for your parents to meet your teachers and get to know more about your school year. Hey, Michael, do you know who your counselor is? Yeah, it's Miss Bermudez. And thank God for her because I always ha have to ask her for help on everything from schedule changes, advice, and assisting me through the school year. Well, here's Juliana Guerra with more on counselors and what they do. As students try to navigate all the stress and challenges that come up during the academic school year, getting to know their counselors can be extremely helpful. So my name is Ms. Bergante. I'm the high school counselor for letters Z, F through H, and I also oversee Durrell College. So one of the things that I want them to know is that they're free to come to us for whatever it is, whether they're facing an academic challenge or they need help overcoming some barriers that are affecting their learning. Most high school counselors are located in the B Building office. You are able to reach out to them through email or meet with them in person. Ms. Suarez is our school's college advisor, who takes on the role of guiding students through college application processes to help them achieve their goals. My name is Ms. Suarez. I am your CAP counselor. CAP is College Assistance Program. The most important thing I want for my students to know is that I'm here as a resource. The road to college starts today. Ms. Jimenez is in charge of last names starting with letters A through Z. Ms. Prado is in charge of last names starting with the letters I through N. Mr. Perez is the IB counselor and is in charge of last names starting with Q through U. Ms. Ardui is in charge of last names starting with V through Z. Finally, Ms. Papas is located in the A building office along with the middle school counselors, but is in charge of high school last names starting with O and P. Signing off from Firebird TV, I'm Juliana Guerra. Hey Nico, did you go to last week's football game? Yeah, wasn't it the Don't Sleep On Us team? Yeah, and for sure we woke them up. You know, I wonder what else is coming in sports this week. Well, here's Alec Blanco with today's sports report to keep you posted on all the recent and upcoming athletic news. Good morning, Firebirds, and welcome to your daily sports report. On Saturday, our very own cross-country team went to the 10th annual Florida Horse Park race in Ocala. Our girls placed 19th overall with Julieta Baldini getting 62nd place and our boys getting 15th overall with Augustin Pineda getting 17th place. Great job, Firebirds. Make sure today to show up and support our volleyball team at home against Florida Christian at 5 p.m. And also, don't forget that this week's football game is away against Matter Lakes. Good luck to you guys. And that's all the sports for today. Reporting for Firebird TV, I'm Alec Blanco. Well, that sums up today's episode of The Flare. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to check us out on all social media platforms at Firebird TV. Come back tomorrow for another special edition of The Flare. We hope you have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.